Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your singles love reading for Capricorn. How are you guys? You can see I have the Magician and the Lovers card here. So this is about manifesting love, having all the tools you need to manifest what you want, who's manifesting you, and vice versa. Let's see what your energy is. Capricorn. Capricorn. Does Capricorn need to know? There we go. Let your friends help you. <laughs> Capricorn. There we go. Honeymoon. And keep an open mind. Okay. And we have release your ex and wedding. Okay. Some of you are letting go. Your friends may be telling you to move away from somebody. Yes, I can see that releasing. Some of you have released an ex, somebody you've been married to, but there is a situation that involves a marriage here. There's some sort of a foundation here, but it's telling you to keep an open mind. Some of you are definitely moving away from someone. You may be meeting another person. You may have someone who travels in your social circle. They could be at a distance or a, a community nearby. Uh, this could be somebody who is trying to figure out if you've let go, if you're still married to somebody. So it's definitely someone that you travel in a social circle. You may have some uh, friends or family that know each other here, Capricorn. All right. Oops, there we go. Sag energy. Oh, yeah. So some of you are definitely... Uh, I always see this as pulling back, looking at something different. Something's a little off. There's a lack of balance. Some of you have been very patiently waiting for somebody to uh, move forward to commit. But I feel like it looks as though you're letting go. Or it could be another person letting go of something. Uh, or another person. Yeah, you've got someone here who wants to reach out. They want to take this action. Somebody here wants to date you. I feel as though someone sees you as different from their usual type as well. <laughs> Yeah, this is someone very balanced. They could have Sag in their chart. I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see a choice between two. Moving away from one person, moving towards another. Uh, some kind of a release here. Wow. You're different than this person's usual type. I feel like they see you different. I do feel this is someone who... I see this detaching energy. I see somebody detaching from somebody. It could be just an energy. You may have already uh, ended a situation, a marriage, a relationship with someone. Uh, but there's that detaching, okay? And I feel somebody is waiting here, waiting in the wings to approach you. They probably are trying to keep an open mind here. This person, this says your soulmate different is different from a usual type. This is someone different. They're going to approach you differently. They see you that way, possibly. But there's something they very much like here. I feel they're kind of keeping their distance right now. I see a little bit of distance. Okay, that's somebody here who's a little bit detached. So I see that moving away. Very nice. Yeah, you have someone here who's ready to go off on a new path. So I do feel it's either you or this person. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, two steps forward and back. Healing, releasing, negative energy. Ready to take this leap of faith. Someone is waiting in the wings. They're waiting for you to let go of somebody or something where they are. And I can feel this person healing and releasing. A little bit of two steps forward and back. You can see it takes a little bit of time. It's someone who's kind of holding back from taking a leap. If you have left someone, you got someone who's interested. They want to date you. They want to take this action. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race. So someone who's very sincere, they're healing and releasing or they're waiting for you to. So I feel they want to take things kind of slow. Some of you are releasing someone who's detached, who's not making an offer and you're letting go. You're going to release someone here. Wow. Or they are very very clear see someone here is not taking action somebody else wants to and they're waiting for you <laughs> they may know they may have heard some kind of gossip or something they may travel in the same social circle little different communities i feel feel somebody here is learning something no, they want to get to know you more they want to grow closer something is is coming together here Tell me about let's your friends help you. Why is this here for Sagittarius? I see an Aries. 
possibly it could be a Scorpio I see that water energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn uh, Sag yeah wow yeah, it's emotional fulfillment, something happy. There's a reason to celebrate. Someone's hearing something, something that's making them very happy. <laughs> it's something sudden. There's some really good news coming in. So you have a surprise coming. Someone's having, they've heard something that's surprising them, okay, about this emotional fulfillment. They, they're hearing that you're letting go, or they are and you're hearing it, or there's going to be some kind of communication about this. Honeymoon, why is this here? What is this honeymoon, this travel, movement, communication? Some of you are leaving the past in the past, moving on. Yeah, manifesting. Yes, yeah. so you have someone. It could be a Gemini. I see Aries, Mars energy, Scorpio. I feel as though you have, it's going to be different for each of you. And the who's moving away from the other person. This is something about this healing, keeping an open mind. It's sort of a Four of Swords energy. You know, it's about being open, about uh, letting go of things that no longer serve. But I see the two steps forward and two steps back. Someone's being a little cautious. They're taking their time before they approach. We have this magician manifesting. Yeah, someone at a distance. This is someone who has all the tools they need uh, manifesting. You may be manifesting this as well. Wow. It's having everything you need. Yeah, there's a painful ending. Healing is needed. Yeah, some of you are releasing and healing. Um, or this person is, but this is something that is now over. There's a cycle over, so there's something new manifesting. Ooh, safety, security, stability. Yeah, you want someone you can rely on. You want a partner. Someone sees you as someone they can rely on. They see you as stable, reliable. They see you as marriage material. Uh, some of you definitely are wanting that. You want a partner, someone you can count on, someone who has your best interest. So this is that manifesting. Someone didn't have your best interests here. I feel they, and I do think you're going to have an epiphany or they are. It's time to kind of let go of something. It's just a, this release. It's done. It's something very positive. Happy news, happy communication, emotional fulfillment. Someone has, you know, seeing a reason to celebrate something here. Very fast, very sudden uh, ending to a situation. If you've heard someone is ending something and you've been waiting for this person, wanting them, you know, something to happen, it's going to, it's over, it's done. Something unhealthy, something that needs to be let go of. Beautiful energy. Could be old relationship baggage and things like that as well. Just suddenly realizing it's time to just let go and move towards something better. The future looks much brighter here. Wow, Capricorn. This manifesting, having all the tools you need to manifest what you want, taking the time to get to know somebody, moving away, ending a situation, moving towards a new person. You may have met somebody suddenly when you're out and about. Could really take off. I see, uh, you know, a celebration, something fun, uh, possibly even fireworks or something, but it's that chemistry as well. I see some chemistry, two people being on the same page, connecting. Uh, sort of looking back there's someone here who's just not right for you you're gonna you may realize it suddenly or somebody else is realizing it or they're seeing you differently okay you're different than their usual type but they it's, it's very positive yeah someone sees the possibilities here they're looking at all the possibilities they're making a decision they also want to know i feel before they approach you're kind of patiently waiting here you know making sure that you're not seeing other people too before they reach out some of you have someone where uh, you see things differently you're looking at the possibilities i feel like it's telling you to keep an open mind if you have ended a relationship keep an open mind with this other person i do think they see this abundance the possibilities that there's a decision here being made there could be a little bit of confusion as well so uh, this person could be kind of just holding back waiting for the right opportunity uh, you know, giving you a chance to heal and release all this negativity before they leap into this. Tell some, it's telling you too to think before you, you know, start something new. Uh, make sure you are healed. Make sure you have all the tools you need to manifest. I see two people manifesting each other uh, through friends, family, some kind of social event. There could be some kind of sudden date. Somebody may be coming in suddenly. Some of you may have a few options. Wow, wouldn't that be something? Tell me about the two of, yeah. So there is something evolving, some kind of change, change of direction. Uh, I feel someone's going with the flow here. They're waiting for something to happen here for this change. Wow. 
Yeah, this person wants to approach you. I see a little Pisces. Some of you, they have Pisces in their chart. So someone who wants to approach, but they're waiting for the right opportunity. They're seeing things from a different angle, a different perspective. You are different than the usual type, so they're going to approach you different. They're going to try something different. This is someone who, it could be them who's ending a situation, you know. They're maybe seeing things different. They've gone within and done a little introspection. I feel they... Uh, this is someone who, there's a little bit of a pause here. This person's kind of pausing a moment about this change, this approach. You may have other people in your energy as well, other people in your world there. You know, they want to make sure, I feel, so they're waiting for this right opportunity. But I think this person is out there thinking about taking this risk. Don't take this risk here. It's saying heal first before you go off on a new path, Okay. Uh, take things slow. Take the time to get to know. I feel that someone's planning something successful. There's going to be something happening here. I think you're going to get a date. I think this person has been waiting in the sidelines, waiting in the wings uh, to reach out. Nine of, or pardon me, whoops, the fool. Why is this here? There we are. Yeah, someone's ready to offer you that cup of love. You see, they've been waiting introspection, how to approach you. They're just going to offer you this cup of love. Uh, it's a very healing energy. I do see a, possibly a communication. You know, it's been a two steps forward and back. Some of you are going to hold back. Make sure this person is sincere. I do think they will approach you in that way. Very nice. Yeah, it's... It all depends who's going through this energy up here. But I think this person is something making someone really happy here about travel, distance, communication. Uh, maybe that you've moved away from someone or you moved out if you were living with somebody. Uh, someone sees you as a partner. They see you as someone they can rely on, they can count on. Tell me about the Four of Swords. So someone who thinks about you <laughs> yeah they're ready to take action yeah this person does want to make sure i feel like they're holding back they want to make sure that you know there's not a lot of competition they don't want to cause any conflict or drama they're just waiting in the wings taking that pause you know they're looking at things from a different perspective you know in a different way doing things differently it's probably not easy for this person if they have aries in their chart they're usually one who just goes after it uh, but someone definitely wants to take action. I feel uh, there's definitely something healing, clearing up. There's some kind of conflict challenges, maybe a few obstacles. Uh, so they're kind of waiting for this, okay? Uh, but I think this person's ready to take, to take action here. But they know to go slow, take their time. They, they want this to be successful. I see a successful communication. So someone very calm. They don't like a lot of drama. Yeah, they want to take you out on a date. They may You may have a few dates with this person. Uh, they want to make sure there's no competition. I don't want, they don't want any drama. This person doesn't want drama, Capricorn. It could be yourself. You may have people around you. I see having a good time. I see a celebration. I see going out with friends and family. Somebody taking their time to approach you. Someone's been waiting for the right opportunity. This could be a, you may meet this person at a sporting event. I feel it's a happy occasion. You could be with your friends. Now, they don't know if the people that you're hanging out with, they may pull back a little, not so sure if there's someone with you that's a competitor. But they're definitely ready to fight for what they want. I feel it's possible they are ending a situation too. Uh, it, it sort of looks more like them, but it even could be both of you. So I see some kind of celebration, a date. I see taking things slow, hanging out with this person, having a good time, maybe going to sporting events. Uh, I see dancing, things like that, just having a good time. Uh, I feel that uh, any obstacles that has to be overcome, that's where this person, you know, they want to just take it slow. So that's a nice, but they, they do kind of see you as someone who probably has people around them. So they're kind of thinking here. <laughs> about this energy just you know clearing out negativity uh, they definitely don't want negativity they definitely don't want drama they don't want to cause any drama they've been waiting very patiently here 
it could be just somebody who travels in your social circle who's been wanting to approach and something they're hearing through friends, family, social media, or you could get an offer to go on a date suddenly. It's going to make you happy. You, maybe you've manifested this by keeping an open mind, clearing out negative stuff as you go through a release. This is a releasing X or just releasing uh, something, but I feel there's there's a situation that involves marriage here or some kind of commitment, a foundation. This is two people who look out for each other, have their best interests. Uh, it's telling you to take a pause and reflect before you rush into anything as well. So I see some dates, uh, happy um, social events. You may this person may invite you to meet their family, their friends, or maybe some kind of party or celebration. Could be a sporting event or something. I feel, I don't know why I feel that, but it keeps popping in my head. Tell me about the Three of Cups. It's social, it's fun, it's friendly. friendly. Uh, just taking their time. Yeah, there's definitely some Taurus energy, some of you. doesn't have to be. This is about someone's tradition, belief, behavior, the way they conduct themselves. They want to date you in a traditional manner. So I see uh, they will eventually introduce you to friends and family, but they're going to take their time. Uh, they want to get to know you, make sure you're on the same page. Very nice. You may travel in the same social circle. I see uh, something to do with faith. Uh, person sees you as somebody faithful as well. They, they see you as somebody who they can count on. So they do know something or somebody is going to introduce them to you at some event. Uh, I feel like it's it could be, it could if you go to church, things like that, it could be that. But this is someone slow, very sincere. They want to date you in a traditional manner. Eventually introduce you to friends and family, bring you into the fold, you know, just kind of holding back a little bit. Tell me about this five of wands. There we go. Yeah, so this is somebody who's definitely, oh yeah, this person's anxious, impatient. They're, they're in a rush, but they know, right? They want to hurry, but they're not going to. They don't want any obstacles, challenges. I feel like they're moving away from, uh, it looks like it could be them, but look at this Capricorn. You could be crazy or they're crazy about you. This person is definitely decisive. They know what they want here and they're heading, but I feel they're moving away from something where you are. Yeah, an unhealthy situation. But this is someone who may have been through uh, some kind of karmic relationship, or you have, okay? But I feel they want to date you. Very traditional person. Tell me about the devil. This could be obsessed with money, work, finances. But I think you got someone who's really crazy about you. And I think they, you know, they definitely don't want drama, any kind of conflict. They don't want to cause it. But they are sure what they want. They're heading towards you. You may have had someone who was indecisive. Uh, you could be coming more decisive to move away. You could be the one reaching out. But I see a Taurus energy. I see you, you know, being on the same page. Look at that. Very nice. Yeah, you both are on the same page. You both want to kind of take this slow, get to know each other, date in a traditional manner, make sure you get along, that you connect with your friends and family. I see just being friends for a little bit. Uh, this person's planning for success. You are. You're. I think you're both going to be crazy about each other. I feel like you're both very much focused on money finances. Uh, they could actually be another Capricorn or have it in their chart, but I also see that Taurus. So some of you, it's definitely a Taurus energy. If it's not a Taurus, it's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries. There's a little Aries energy here, um, or it could be Scorpio too, but I also see a little Gemini uh, some of you are moving away from someone who's manipulating you. It's ending. You're clearing your head, healing. Uh, you now, it's like some of you are just keeping your options open as well, okay? Something is ended, so you're just keeping your options open. Or someone sees you as an option. They see the possibilities of being with you. Now, there's a lot of abundance here. They're looking at all these feelings, emotions, all these things that they know about you. You're different than their usual type. Uh, I feel they're going to, something is evolving. They're in your world. They're in your energy. They're around you. But I feel like there's something going to evolve between the two of you. It's like you're changing. Something is changing. And it has to do with looking at things from a different angle, a different approach, different perspective, uh, seeing things differently, you see. You have someone who's not taking action. There's a pause. But yeah, wow. I think you both are on the same page. You both want to just take things slow. You both want this to be successful. I feel like you're both successful. You have you have some same habits, traditions, the way you live your life. Uh, you may know friends of friends or 
you know you have the same kind of people around you so it's very positive very some both very sincere tell me about this magician energy why is this magician energy here for capricorn Yes, this is about some of you are going to stop talking to someone who's manipulating you. Uh, you're not interested. You're changing. Some, you're looking at something from a different angle. So it could be someone you've been waiting to, uh, you know, this person to share more of themselves, to commit. I feel like they're not. I think you're going to let them go because you have another person around you. Somebody is waiting in the wings to approach. They're waiting for that right opportunity someone's ready to try something different as well and I think what's going to happen is you may be different but you may find you actually are on the same page you may find that you're actually you know have the same the same tradition belief behaviors the same type of friends family you know there's definitely a compatibility uh, I see this emotional connection hanging out sharing your feelings uh, taking both of you agreeing to be on the same page so I like this. This very, very nice energy. If you are moving away from someone uh, towards this new person, you could be releasing an unhealthy situation, something toxic where there was a lot of fighting and arguments. Uh, there's definitely some kind of change, uh, change in the way you conduct yourself or somebody else is, but there's a change in a situation. It's very positive for you, uh, very positive for this person. Tell me about the world. Yeah, see, setting yourself free. Some of you are releasing yourself. You're moving towards something more successful. Uh, someone here is being cautious about how they approach. They're waiting in the wings. They want to take action, but they're taking a pause, taking a moment because they want success. They want to make sure that whatever it is that you're involved in or they are is over. It's just setting themselves free. Someone here is a free spirit. I definitely see a Sag energy. Both of you could be free spirits, very focused on your money. You both may be manifesting money, finances. You both have everything you need. Uh, and coming together, you may meet suddenly here and decide <laughs> something uh, about connecting. Tell me about this love. Capricorn. Yeah, look at that. Truth, success, victory, win or lose situation. Uh, I feel it's uh, some kind of success. I feel like you are, some of you are cutting someone out that's manipulating. You're just deciding to end it. You're healing and releasing. Uh, I do think you're keeping your options open. I feel like there's a painful period in your life that's over. So maybe you've just kind of finished... Uh, letting go of the, an ex or somebody who doesn't have your best interest and you're moving towards something so much better where they are. Wow. Someone sees you as a partner. They see you as someone they can rely on and that's what you want. That safety, security, stability. Two people who are financially stable. Two people on the same path, the same page that go the same speed. Ooh. <laughs> like it yeah see there's balance here see doing something different trying something different being patient now someone has a little aries a little bit of that uh wanting to rush in uh, i feel someone here has got a little bit of an ego too uh, setting themselves free changing how they approach or it could go in a lot of different ways but i really like this tempering taking the time to get to know each other slowing down balancing head over heart doing things differently you are different than each other's usual type but the compatibility the you know there's so much you have in common here being on the same page going the same speed so one of you now i do see aries and sag energy so maybe you both are learning this okay maybe this is something that you're learning through other relationships when you meet each other to just sort of temper that need to be in a rush to slow down because i feel it will lead to such success here I see truth. I see ending something with someone who's lacking, uh, not reciprocating, man, you know, somebody who may be manipulating you. Yeah, you've got someone here who doesn't tell the truth. They don't share. I see a Gemini, someone who's not, they're holding back. They don't always speak the truth. And I feel like that's what you're going to let go. I do see a Pisces, a Taurus energy so it looks like there's an ending here with someone it'll be different for each of you who the ending is with tell me about this tower this epiphany this sudden happy yeah this is releasing something some of you are just letting go you're going to make a decision to just let go of someone okay 
Uh, it could be someone who's trying to come in and have an ex who's trying to have a reconciliation or something. I don't think you're going for it. It's over. You've got a new person heading your way or you're having that epiphany that you need to just go through this process. But I see this other person uh, wanting to have success with you. Uh, approaching you to have success the right way offering up that cup of love those emotions a fresh new start some of you are just ready for this fresh new start and so is this person i do think we have a couple of people who have the same habits traditions when it comes to manifesting money and finances <laughs> i do i think you both could be releasing toxic relationships unhealthy situations unhealthy patterns doing things different trying a different approach to your love life Beautiful. Two people on the same page, on the same path, going the same speed. Beautiful. Some of you have someone who's right for you, someone who's not. Definitely, you're going to realize this. Yeah, I see this. Be careful what you wish for, but you're about to get something you want. So you got someone here who holds back. They don't reciprocate their feelings, emotions. They don't always tell the truth. They manipulate. Uh, this is someone you're distancing yourself from. They could be at a distance. They could be a, a, quite a distance away for some of you, but I think you're going to free yourself. Uh, I see some kind of adventure. It's like ready for this new adventure to take a, a leap. I think this person eventually will take this risk because <laughs> I think they're crazy about you. Yeah, to express themselves, they're crazy about you. Uh, they are releasing something as well. I feel they are, and I feel like they may have had a bad relationship that wasn't successful. There was a lot of fighting argument. It was a kar karmic situation, very toxic. It's now over. There's something very happy about to happen, this new person going off in this uh, beautiful new energy, but trying different things, uh, taking your time. Uh, I do think you're going to date a lot. I see two, three, four dates or so uh, where you just connect and talk, get to know each other. Uh, I do think there's going to be a, some, re you're going to realize there's some really good chemistry, even though they're different. You're, it's like you're both different from each other, but yet you have some things that are very much the same. It's like you balance each other out. Uh, there's a learning process through this. So things are about to go in your favor. There's a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Yeah, you've got someone here who's strategizing. They want things to go in their favor. They're being very wise, someone very intelligent. This could be a message for yourself to think very clearly. But I see uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you have a Gemini, Libra, or something. you've got a couple people with these energies. Very intelligent, very wise, uh, very strategic. Somebody wants to make sure things go in their favor. Uh, they're coming in. Someone's gaining some clarity, some insight. Uh, so I think what's happening is that some of you got someone who wasn't sharing their feelings. They weren't telling you the truth or they were just holding back. Um, could be someone who's holding back, approaching you, you know, about they're not they're They want to reach out. They're anxious to, but they're holding back. Maybe they're waiting for you to heal or they are. But I also see you ending something with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you, it could be the ending with that person to start something new with someone who has some fire in their chart. There's something being exposed. It's very positive. It's ending a situation to start something new. So it could go either way. Yeah, taking the time to get to know each other. And I feel like it's growing closer. Some of you are ending a situation with someone who's strategic. And things, and this is going to lead you off on a new path towards another person. But someone definitely wants to get to know you more. You could be at a distance or you're distancing yourself from someone. And as you are, you meet this other person. Wow. Yeah, there's definitely a very strong connection. Somebody is uh, feels that pull towards you. Some are using all the strength you have to end a situation. Uh, but I think someone here's got some Leo in their chart. Uh, very wise, very smart. They know what they want. This is someone gaining confidence here. They're learning as they learn about you. They feel more confident about this truth, this success. So it's telling you to be brave, be strong, tame that beast in yourself that need to rush if that's yourself or it's them. I kind of feel like both of you have a little of that energy. I do feel a couple people are kind of free spirits, two successful people. Okay, there's two successful people here are very much focused on money. It's a big deal to you. It's a big deal to this person. These are your strengths. Okay, 
I, I feel like you both want the same things. You both have your own habits, traditions. You have your, it's your lifestyle. Some of you are married to your jobs. Both of you, possibly. <laughs> Yeah, something is evolving as you get to know uh, this person. I feel there's a lot of strength in this connection. And I do feel like you are going to see that you're compatible. Something is going to build as you get to know each other. Uh, you're going to go off on this path with this person. I feel this person definitely has this very strong attach attachment. Uh, I feel they see the compatibility. They see the strengths in this connection. So it's possible this is all one person, you know, who's a little cautious. Maybe they've just healed or you've just ended. It's about a cycle. It may have nothing to do with relationships. It's where someone now has all the tools they need, uh, you know, to make this decision to reach out. They may all of a sudden just come towards you. They may have been waiting in the wings. You know, it's about how to approach. Uh, it's that introspection. So, but many of you, I see two people. Some of you get a lot of attention from people around you, uh, but I actually feel like someone wants to have this success. They see the possibilities that you may be getting attention from other people. That's why they're pulling back. Or some of you have someone who's in that energy. This is where you pull back and look to see, is there chemistry? Is this person bring balance in my life? Do they really fit in with my friends and my family? That's the introspection. This could be you or this person or even both of you. So yeah, there is this path, this offer, this seed. I do think this could be a successful union between two. Two people who build each other up to create the success. You both have to speak your truth. I do see some of you cutting someone out who's not reciprocating. It's like uh, you're going to release them because I feel they don't really want to be married. They want to keep everything they have to themselves. They're a little bit of manipulative. It's sort of like they want you to indulge them. Uh, and I don't think you're comfortable with it. It's like something that's been happening over a period of time. Or you're just finished with a period in your life and uh, you're feeling ready for a partnership. And it could be them. But I see this judgment, this decision. I do see it's possible somebody wants a reconciliation. And I don't think it's good. It could start and end immediately where you just go, that's it, done. Uh, I gave you an opportunity. It's not working because you got this new person here. Definitely on the same page. Yeah, some of you are rejecting somebody. It's not good enough. Uh, they offer one cup, nothing more. They manipulate. Uh, some of you may have lacked a little, you know, not you're kind of not sure. Or some of you have been healing and you're now getting bored. You're now ready for a commitment. But I feel uh, this is someone, you do have definitely have someone who feels they missed an opportunity because they didn't reciprocate. But I feel like it's a little too little too late because of this new person. Yeah, you're definitely, everything is becoming very clear. I think this person here is becoming very clear too. Uh, very wise, very intelligent person. They, they want that clarity and clear communication. They know they need to communicate clearly, uh, but they also want that truth. They want to know. Uh, I feel they want to make sure that, because um, that's the clarity there, is that truth. That's that expressing themselves. This is someone ready for something new. Beautiful energy. Yeah, two people coming together on the same path. I see that seed being planted. It's going to build into something. Uh, I see a successful union, uh, a bond. I see a lot of chemistry. I think this is someone who sees you as, you know, compatible. Even though you're different than each other, there's something about you that balances each other. Beautiful. All right, let's see where this is going. Let's see the outcome of this. Oh, I see this win or lose success. <laughs> Definitely letting go of someone. I think you're going to let go. Some of you have someone who's either a manipulator or they're a Gemini. Uh, they could be a Libra. Really, they could be anyone. It's it's just over for some reason. It's like you you may just have this epiphany that you're just done. You're letting it go because this person's coming in or someone's waiting to hear that or have heard it. And they've been, like I said, you got someone waiting in the wings here wanting to approach there we go. Yeah, the uncharted territory. You don't really know where this is going to go, but I feel uh, you are going to go off on this path together. I think the seed is planted, but it still, it still needs to grow. Uh, I do think it could be successful, and I do think really it's all about the truth. Some of you are seeing the truth about someone, that they're not reaching out, not reciprocating. It's not going where you want because they really have no intentions of getting married. 
Uh, someone here is just a free spirit. They could be a Sag. I think you got a Pisces here waiting to reach out. They are waiting for you to set yourself free. Uh, this change, they're definitely around you. But I see you don't really know where this is going to go. It's uncharted territory. You're both different than each other in some ways. But there's somehow there's this uh, strength between the two of you. Yeah, this is beyond the ordinary. Uh, you're both different than each other. Uh, but I feel there's something very beautiful about this connection. You don't know where it's going to go, right? You don't. I don't. I just see you going off on the path and something building where you cooperate and compromise with this seed uh, to make it grow. But I see success. Yeah, this is beyond the ordinary situation. So it's uncharted territory. You've not experienced something like this before or vice versa. Wow. Could be an instant attraction where you make a very sudden decision to end something with one person because there's something about them that's just not working. Uh, you know, you keep hoping and wishing they're going to reach out and commit and they never do. And you just meet someone and go, that's it. I'm done. I've made up my mind. <laughs> If it's not you, it's them. Yeah, there's open to discover, right? So this is about discovering something, maybe about yourself or a situation. You may have heard gossip or someone has, but someone wants to get to know you more. And I think there's some things that you're going to discover here. Uh, suddenly, epiphanies, or like I said, the other person. You could meet this person somewhere. Okay, and they this is a Libra. This is someone they may decide to dump somebody who it's not, you know, they can't rely on somebody who's not healthy, a karmic situation. Could be just letting go of the past. Yeah, the Oracle's gift, the land in between. So this is two people bridging the gap, two people coming together where the pieces fit. Uh, there is a little time in between. So some of you make sure before you manifest this, or this person may be realizing before they reach out, they need to uh, let go of something. They may need to set themselves free. Okay, then they see the possibilities, but they may need to uh, release themselves either from other options. I feel there's someone here who definitely sees having success with you. Oh, they're waiting to approach here. So I feel it's possible if they are manifesting you, they are knowing to hold back and just wait uh, till they are clear or you are. So lovely. The Oracle's gift. Trust your intuition. Some of you may get a tea leaf reading, a tarot card reading, but this is bridging the gap. There is a little bit of a distance here, but you can see here that the pieces fit. Something just fits between the two of you. You're going to pick the person who fits. If you have options, you get a lot of attention. Some of you are traveling too. You may meet this person traveling in another community. Uh, but I, this is always about who fits, who's the right person. Someone here is right for you, someone who's not. Beautiful. It's a decision about to be made. Very fast, very sudden. Wow. Yeah, bridging the gap. The pieces fit. I think you fit with this new person very well. So I wish you the best, Capricorn. This is something out of the ordinary. You don't really know where this is going to go. Oh, just stay grounded, okay? Center yourself. Someone's ready to open up. This will happen when it's meant to happen. This person's going to come in and tell you a truth, okay? And it's going to lead to success, that they've been holding back, waiting for the right opportunity. And I think some of you are looking at your options or this someone else here, um, and you're seeing them differently because you're gonna you may meet this person and they're so different than the usual type it may make you realize that you're in if you're in a situation with someone you can't rely on it, it doesn't seem like it's ever going to move towards a committed relationship uh, whatever your situation it could be a sudden realization of something here you know, that makes you look at things from a different perspective but wow something fits here I think this person is going to be ready to open up, but I do feel there's balance between you and this person. Uh, I think it's a you're you're de de definitely very different than each other. So this is waking the lion, yeah, waking up, focusing on what you want. A little bit of Leo energy here is definitely they whoever it is has a little Leo somewhere in their chart. They could be a Leo uh, with Earth in their chart. It could go either way, but I feel like you are different. But you're going to fit together very well. Maybe it's your charts. Uh, the placements in your charts are all everything in the right place, but yet you may appear not to be 
uh, compatible at first when you actually are uh, after you get to know each other so just take it slow there's a beautiful uncaging yeah this is two people coming together uh, it's diff a different situation you've been in before something is waking up here with this lion this focus on this beautiful uncaging wow wow yeah power move so someone's going to make a power move here uh, i do think it's going to happen with this person suddenly uh, now i don't know whether they approach you suddenly and you have some discussion or something happens and you or them decide to just end a situation that's not going anywhere but it's it's the outcome is lovely it all depends on that tempering that need to rush uh, to take that risk, okay? Uh, just take things slow, uh, but I feel you'll be on the same page. So I wish you the best. Take care, and we'll see you soon.